Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. I, Gregoro, have started a project. That undertaking would be that of growing the strongest type of tobacco I could get my hands on. You know what I'm saying? The nicotine level rivals that of regular tobacco by a 20 to 30 times the amount in nicotine. So we're talking about, like, a nuke. A nuke of tobacco. A nuke of nicotine. Regular tobacco being that of Nicotiana tobacco especially the low-grade variants of Burley's being pumped full of additives and chemicals and sold in mass quantities, which are the products consumers most everywhere purchase to use and abuse. Tobacco seized the market back in the 1800s and a little before that because it was, it was, it would grow bigger and uh, they could make more money off of it. That's the way the world works, they say, even though the economies are plummeting. The sacred mapacho or rustica is used as a centering and arousing tool to aid in purifying uh, the blood. As many people know, tobacco can help rid of parasites, and uh, it also boosts energy. Many ancient tales speak of the South American tribes using this plant as in smoking and being able to tap into that ultra-meditative state. I mean, in just a few days, you can have these seeds sprouting, sprouting up, and uh, it's pretty cool. The Cociana rustica is uh, it's quite exciting to grow. I, I hope I hope it does well. Later down, I'm gonna have to uh, later down the line I'm have to find a way to cure cure them properly. Uh, I don't have to ferment them, but that would be very cool. Get the get some nice flavors, aromas. Um, yeah. Looking, looking healthy right now, and that's that's what's up. Actually, making some tea right now too. Uh, so yeah, there isn't an easy seed to start up. Just the proper conditions. I did a few different ways of growing them. Right now, might grow some out of some eggshells soon. Actually, just got a nice fresh. Fresh dozen ready to be used for planting some little seeds, and it's gonna be cool. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to make a cigar out of this stuff. That'll be so cool. Maybe I'll make a video on it. Maybe I'll invite some friends over, and we can all just have a review of it. But that's that is once we cross that bridge of. Getting it all ready. It's tea time. As far back as the 1500s, South American tribes would inhale the smoke and be down for a day or more after the hit. There are creation myths that correlate with taking in the act of using tobacco to further grasp existence. The species is a hermaphrodite, which is a both male and female. It's fit for most soil, but favors well-drained soil. It grows best in sunlight, but can grow in shade, which is preferred for most cigars. Uh, it's typically grown in a rainforest, but my room is pretty much the same, right? Yeah. Common names are jasmine tobacco, Aztec tobacco, strong tobacco, and it is a very potent variety of tobacco, so it is very dangerous, if not properly used, as in any substances. I do not condone smoking, to be honest, and if you were to do it with passion and a mindset to further yourself for the better, that's, that's what we're going for. Uh, it is currently day 10 of, of the project of growing and I will make a sequel part down the road as my botany journey continues. Thank you for watching. So long. Peace.